Well, summer is on its way, and with it, the chance to travel abroad, something most of us haven't been able to do the last few years. But another problem may just curtail that. Thousands of people are still waiting on passports. Virgin Media News spoke to one such family earlier. The stress it has caused in the last few weeks is just unbelievable. Families are just left sitting at home in limbo with no information, not knowing whether the children will attend, whether they won't attend, whether another family member, obviously my husband, would have to stay at home. On one particular day, I tried 322 times before I actually got speaking to somebody and they just said continue to follow the tracker online. Well, Owen Corrie is the editor of Air and Travel magazine and he joins me now. Owen, the scale of the problem, outline it for us. It's... Um the equivalent of two months of applications before COVID, all sitting on the in-tray, the virtual in-tray, waiting to be processed. About 40% of the applicants there are, according to the DFA, have incomplete documentation. That's something like 78,000 passport applications. That's the population of County Kilkenny. So what the DFA are dealing with, and this is not alone, but they're right across Europe, you know, if anyone follows foreign language uh, newspapers, it's an issue right across European countries because the number of people who let passports expire during COVID when we weren't traveling, they're dealing with uh, a pretty big in-tray and they're quite, you know, much more confident in the statements of the last two weeks about getting through it but there are two sides to this and they bear no resemblance to each other. The online renewal, which is more or less working, two weeks for an adult, three weeks for a child, and the new passport application, which not only is longer, it's six weeks, but it's also where all those problems of incomplete documentation are showing up. And just to be clear, because I've done it very recently, when you're applying for a passport for the first time for a child, you can't just do it online. It's a combination of online and by a post. Oh. So I think the, the advice today is to, you know, we need to move more people online. That's actually irrelevant for people applying for a new passport. New passport online is irrelevant. And this is really important. It's a very powerful document. The Irish passport is one of the top six in the world. We get into 187 countries visa-free. Now, we need, we, that's hard one. There's, those stripes are hard one. So we need to preserve them. We need to preserve our reputation. So it does require a legal eye going over all that documentation and making sure, and in the era of child trafficking and all those concerns, really, really important that the document has got right with that first time application. And also with the renewals, because uh, people are coming back and saying, my, the computer allowed my uh, photograph to go through. Why did it suddenly get returned you know, at the end and put us back to the end of the queue? The, pass, the computer doesn't make the decision, the final decision of the photograph. A legal eye has to do that. 40% um, the DFA said, I have the statement here in front of me, a major cause for delays is the fact that passport applications are not correctly completed. Passport service figures show that consistently approximately 40% of applications are incomplete. But that means 60% of them are complete and there are still delays there. The, the delays on the complete aren't as long. The, the, for a new first-time application, the delay has come down, even in the last couple of weeks, from eight weeks to six weeks. But when you've got that level of uh, passports that are incomplete, you start asking your questions, Is, are the forms too complicated? Is it that complicated that 40% of people are getting it wrong and getting the witnessing wrong and all of that? And the second uh, real, important, easier question for the DFA to address is, is it necessary to go to wait till it turns up on the in-tray before sending it back? Should there be a process where everybody goes through the documents first and said, on the day they open it, say, send it back instead of you know, going to that six week process? then sending it back. To identify then, if there's any issues from the Any outset. issues, and then start the six week, because it's not six weeks from when you send your application in, it's six weeks from when it gets opened at the other side. And when that opening uh, happens and they ensure that all the documents are correct, if they're not, then you're back and you start right. again. So you've Is waited six weeks and then it goes to 12, and if it's coming back twice, which it has in a lot of cases, it's going beyond. Now, isn't one of the real difficulties here, Owen, is that people are finding it next to impossible to communicate with yeah. the passport office. 
there isn't really the volume of people to answer the phone or to even do things like answer to you know, phone answering of airlines everybody like that that's pretty much gone most most communication now if you want to get a response you you tweet you direct message or you go on the web chat web chats are great because one operator handles but the, all of those lines of communication to the dfa are, are broken down Mm. And, and of course the passport office which some people you know will know in Dublin and used to be able to go to they that's have, still closed yeah, why they, is that they've never they've never encouraged people to come in I mean since the whole online thing started and was very successful uh, five or six years ago the notion of going into the passport office was only for the emergency appointment and a big problem with the emergency appointment is that once you're in the system you can't get out of the system to go for the emergency let's say the flight's looming it's coming you're coming with Within days of it. Now, a lot of people Sorry. are getting it within days of their takeoff, so they are aware if it's in the documentation when you're flying. All right, we're going to have to leave it uh, there. Thank you to Owen. Our program is available. Pleasure.